Any other question, please? Yes, please. Little loudly. Can you say loudly, please? Why you don't like it? <laughs> it's a something. It's a question. Really, is something I can't understand. You see, if I am something, if this picture is my true picture, then why not have it? With this picture, you will be surprised. The person who first got realization got through this picture. In this picture, there are vibrations. When you will get realized, you will know that only this picture has that vibration because the real thing it is. Thank God the science has given us the real thing. If there were cameras before, we would have had pictures of all those great people. Because there were no photographs, they said better not have any pictures because all the pictures were imaginary, done by people who wanted to have some money. With this picture, many people have been cured. All right? It's a very good thing that has happened that we can take pictures now because I think I cannot meet everyone in this world, but they cannot see my picture. I, I'm well, just, can, can we just clarify then? Do you claim that you can uh, heal or cure? I do not claim, I do it. <laughs> no question of claiming, you see. I do it, I've done it. You can do it also. Everyone can do it. This Dr. Warren has done. It's cured so many people. I just said it could be done through a photograph. Could you explain that? Yes, it is surprising, you know. Myself, I was surprised as you are that my photograph has also got vibrations and people get cured with photographs. In your country only, when I came, the press was very kind to me. The reason was there was a lady who was sick with coma and they said she had what? Cerebral um, aneurysm. aneurysm. And one another disciple of mine took my photograph, put it under her head, and she started getting all right in the sense that she started opening her eyes. So the doctors got frightened. They said, if, even if she gets all right, she will be damaged. She won't be able to walk. But today she's perfectly all right. Not only that, but she is very hard working surgery. So it's all right. How does it work? Any idea? It was how, it works? In how does it work? How does so, it work from the photograph? From the photograph. <coughs> the photograph is a real image of myself, see, and this my body has got a coefficients which emits vibration. Same happens with the photograph. That too has the same coefficients. Of course, it hasn't got the other dimension, but it also emits the vibrations because of the coefficients being the same. Say even if you take Christ's photograph, it's not real because it's all come out of the unconscious, all right, but there's a lot of imagination put in. Any photograph you take of any person, it is like that. But there are so many things I've seen which are which have come out of the Mother Earth, they emit vibration. Like Stonehenge in England has vibration. So many places like that have vibration, but not so strong as mine because I'm a living person. There was one fellow in uh, Russia, supposed to be very intelligent. He said that, all right, if we keep mother's photograph and also the icons, we can uh, get the same type of vibration. You cannot, because icons are made by some artist, imaginary. These are not representing actually even Maria or Christ or anyone, they are all, all imaginary. If an Italian once makes Christ, he's Italian stuff. If somebody, French one makes, he's thin like French. If uh, you get uh, somebody, <laughs> say from Holland, he'll have a forehead like that. <laughs> so you can see Christ, if he's Japanese, He'll have chinky eyes. <laughs> if he is Chinese, he'll have no nose. <laughs> if it's Indian, he'll be dark. So all kinds of Christ I've seen. And I feel that how can they emit vibrations, tell me? 
while with my photograph how can you compare? Also cameras were to be developed at this time. Do you notice that point? Cameras were developed at this time, not before that. This loudspeaker was not developed before this. So all these things are, even video, even the way you are seeing my image there, was that available before? No. So this is a very special time where science has also supported seekers to find it. Science has supported it. So first, just like a scientist, you try to accept one by one. There's nothing has to be done. I mean, don't have to pay me anything, of course, that goes. Uh, you don't have to do any acrobatics or anything. But for example, a small thing like my photograph. You see, many people say, why your photograph? So use your photograph, I say if that works out. You see, it's something surprising. That's how people challenge me. Why your photograph? is why not use yours? I'll be very happy to use anybody's. But it doesn't work out. What to do now? It's my photograph that works out, but even if you don't like it, you have to use it. What can I do? <laughs> it's as simple as that, you see. But in that, I don't gain anything from you. I don't want anything from you. Nothing material that you can give me. But you'll enjoy. You'll enjoy my love. You'll enjoy. But Sahaja Yoga is becoming, is awakening and realization. How is it going to work? It was a very big problem for me. It's not that I can just give you a book and you just sit and read it and say that, yes, I've got it, I've become. It's real becoming, ripening, maturing, living process. Now how am I to do it? And here is the answer, is a photograph. So this is what it is, that all your medias can be used through my photograph. What a blessing it is. And the photograph, if you think, is representing me, I think you are not expressing it fully. I was amazed that my photographs are much more powerful than any statues put together, even produced by Mother Earth. Because photograph has got so many elements in it. For example, you see, it has got light element, it has got water element, it has got earth element, it has got also air element. If the air is not all right, you cannot get a photograph. And also it has got the ether element. With all these five elements, you cannot produce a statue. Ether element it has got, because if you have a photograph here, you can transcend it to any other place, you can, uh, what you call that, transmit it to any place. Photograph can be transmitted, but you cannot transmit the statue as it is here. Only the photograph of a statue can. So it has also got ether in it. So photograph is much more powerful than any other statue. Moreover, it is a reproduction, no doubt. But reproduction of reality with five elements. So I wouldn't call it just a representative, it's quite me, because my attention is there. So the protocol of these photographs also is important to so start developing that faith. You should keep one photograph with you all the time in your pocket. Respect it as many as possible. Respect that. 